tapped in. We appreciate it. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. That helps. Uh, we got six of you in here currently. So we should have at least six thumbs up. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> All right. So first story brought to you by Amik619, Wagner Group leader. Yevgeny Prigozhin dies in a plane crash in Russia. Let's see what they're talking about here. I don't even know if I got the screens assigned for this evening. There we go. We begin with breaking news. Russia state media now confirming that Wagner mercenary group leader Yevgeny Prigozhin has died after a business jet he was on crashed about 100 miles northwest of Moscow. This video, which was shown on Russian media, purports to show the plane falling out of the sky. Russian officials say that all 10 people on board, including three crew members, were killed. Now, remember, what? Uh, Pergosian had been leading troops fighting. Wait, go back to the video? How does a plane fall straight down? You know what I mean? Like... We've all seen plane crashes before, haven't we? I'm sure we have. Do they fall slowly straight down? What is this? We're killed. Now, remember, Russian media purports to show the plane Look at this. falling out of the sky. Russian officials say that all 10 people on board, including three what crew is that? members, were killed. Now, remember, uh, Prigozhin had been leading troops the... fighting for Russia in Ukraine when he decided to lead that aborted mutiny against Vladimir Putin a couple of months ago after the rebellion. Uh, Ru Russian media pro uh, reported that Prigozhin had been relocated aborted to Belarus. Mutiny. So ABC News foreign correspondent Tom I don't know if I buy that. joins me now from Kiev in Ukraine. Tom, what are we learning so far uh, about this crash? Put it in some context for us. Well, Terry, the latest detail we've got is that Yevgeny Prigozhin, uh, the boss of the Wagner Group, was on board his private jet, which went down just minutes after takeoff, after taking off from an airport in Moscow. It was heading to St. Petersburg at about 6 p.m. local time. Uh, you can see the video of the plane, Even or at least debris crash. of the plane, plummeting to the sky, uh, to the ground, sorry, out of the sky. Wait a second. Even the fire of the plane crash? Okay, not a tree on fire anywhere, no down trees, no skidding through the grass anywhere. So the plane literally just fell out of the sky and landed straight down? What the? All right, this is getting weirder. This is getting weirder. The plane plummeting to the sky, uh, to the ground, sorry, out of the sky. Yeah, look at this. Right now we have no clarity what on exactly plane falls why out of the, the plane sky like down. that there are lots of theories uh circulate circulating on social media at the moment uh, one theory unconfirmed is that the plane could have been shot down uh, there's a lot of speculation on social media about that uh, what the? russian media are quoting uh, a source in the russian aviation agency saying there was an explosion bro. and that caused the plane to go down bro and tom president biden was asked uh, about this crash he said he wasn't fully informed about the facts, but that he, quote, wasn't surprised. A breakdown, Prigozhin's relationship with Putin and the Kremlin. Why is this significant? Well, Yevgeny Prigozhin and Vladimir Putin are longtime allies. Uh, they go back many years. Yevgeny Prigozhin set up this mercenary group, but he was allowed to do so with the backing of the Kremlin, with the backing of Putin. The mercenary group was very prominent in Russia. It was accused of human rights abuses, of torturing and killing civilians. But it really came to prominence, I think, globally with the war here in Ukraine. It was involved in very, very... So is that uh, Putin's new form of the... What did they used to call their secret police? I don't remember. They got a name for their uh, old uh, secret police. Um, that uh, Putin was what a part of that, right? I forget what they call it. In tough battles out in the east of Ukraine. But what happened is Yevgeny Prigozhin and his Wagner group got into a very public uh, argument with the Russian Ministry of Defense 
in theory, they were fighting together, but publicly they were enemies. And Yevgeny Prigozhin kept criticizing uh, top Russian generals and the Russian Ministry of Defense. And in June, Yevgeny Prigozhin then launched this rebellion. Yeah, I seen one video. He was like, what's up? Why are you guys being pussies? If you guys send me some ammo, I'll kill some Ukrainians. Why won't you send me the ammo? What's going on here? Are we trying to, are we trying to kill people or not? <laughs> Fucking Russians, bro. <laughs> His troops marching towards the Kremlin, towards Russia. They took a major Russian city in the southwest called Rostov-on-Don. Then Putin oh, went on TV Don. denouncing them as traitors. We think there was some kind of backroom deal, and then Prigozhin said his fighters were going off to neighboring Belarus, with Prigozhin last seen in a video, we think, in Africa, saying he was back to his usual business. And now, his private jet plummeting out of the sky only weeks later. Uh, and to a complicated career... I don't know, career plummeting there, is what I would call it? For that report. It looked Remember like it you daintily it. drifted down like a leaf? <laughs> which is the weirdest plane crash video I think I've ever seen in my entire freaking life. Uh, I don't know who else has seen any plane crashes, but I actually witnessed a uh, four passenger uh, Cessna crash once. Uh, that was interesting. We got a lot of uh, agricultural fields around here and uh, they do crop dusting. So I'm driving, watching this, uh, you know, watching this plane swoop over the field in front of me. I, I, I pull up to the corner of the field. I make a left. So now the plane turns. Oh, you guys can't see my hand. Turns. And then he's, he's swooping down right next to my car as I'm driving, right? He doesn't pull up for the telephone wire that's in the middle of the field. Or doesn't pulls up too late or whatever. I'm driving right next to him. I literally see him clip, flip, <laughs> blow up. It was crazy. So me, uh, I know I had at least one buddy with me. I might have had two buddies with me. We pull off onto the canal road. We go down there. We're the first to pull up. Um, we can see the all the guys pull, you know, climbing out. And we're like, everybody's out. Everybody's out. Thankfully, because I don't want to be pulling people from flaming planes, bro. Uh, so everybody was out. And then, um, like, behind us on the canal road, you know, you got cop, ambulance, fire, all these things out. I don't think I had tags on my car. I might not have had a license at the time. I definitely probably didn't have insurance. Uh, and I led a procession of emergency vehicles off of this canal road once it was time uh to to lead they followed me for miles it, it was pretty funny it was pretty funny but the point is planes don't drift dauntily to the ground that's the weirdest plane crash i've ever seen in my entire freaking life weirdest plane crash i have ever seen by far that's some strange stuff but, um, yeah, what do you guys think about this uh, Prigozhin guy? Do you think he was actually uh, doing a mutiny against Putin? I don't know. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't buy it at all. I don't buy it at all.